just leaked. And it's not about being the cheapest EV. It's about something shocking. A Tesla you can actually afford to maintain integrated spray wipers that cut fluid waste by 30%. Modular bumpers you replace for $300, not $1,500. Physical buttons that don't force you to hunt through touchscreens while driving. And an electrical system designed to not break every two years. This isn't Tesla going budget. It's Tesla finally listening. Why does this terrify competitors? Because if they crack easy ownership, they don't just win the EV race, they rewrite it. Let's dive right in. Here's what nobody's talking about. Tesla's been bleeding customers not because their cars are slow, but because a fender bender costs more than a used Honda. The Model 2 isn't just addressing this. It's dismantling the entire problem from the ground up starting with the most unexpected place imaginable windshield wipers. Yes, we're starting there. Sounds boring, right? But this is where Tesla just exposed a dirty secret the entire auto industry has ignored for decades. Traditional wipers spray fluid from the hood at 0.25 liters per minute. Most of it never touches your windshield. It hits the hood, runs down your doors, wastes half the reservoir, before you even notice, you're essentially pressure washing your paint job every time it rains, burning through washer fluid like it's going out of style. The Model 2 flips this completely. Microjets are built directly into the wiper blade itself. Water hits exactly where the rubber passes. The result? 20 to 30 percent less fluid waste, dramatically clearer glass. And here's the part that matters for your wallet. Fewer refills means fewer emergency stops at AutoZone because you're out of washer fluid during a snowstorm at midnight. But the real innovation goes deeper than cost savings. The system doesn't just react to rain anymore. It uses the front camera to detect blur in real-time dust, oil splatter, bug guts smeared across your view, even headlight glare at night that blinds you on country roads. The AI analyzes whether your vision is actually compromised and adjusts spray intensity accordingly. Compare that to current Teslas, where auto wipers are basically gambling between hurricane mode and doing absolutely nothing while you're squinting through filth. Why does any of this matter beyond convenience? Because poor visibility kills people. One extra second of reaction time. The difference between seeing brake lights clearly versus through a smeared windshield can mean everything Tesla didn't just engineer a better wiper. They built a safety system that saves you money while potentially saving your life. That's the kind of practical innovation that changes how people think about budget vehicles. This brings us to Tesla's most shocking admission of failure, and ironically, it might be their smartest move yet. For years, Elon Musk insisted everything belongs on a touchscreen minimalist design. Futuristic interface. Absolutely infuriating in practice. Anyone who's tried adjusting the air conditioning while merging onto a highway in a Model 3 knows exactly what I'm talking about. You're swiping through menu layers like you're ordering food delivery. Except, you're controlling a 4,000-pound vehicle at 70 miles per hour. The Model 2 brings back physical controls, actual buttons, real dials you can feel, climate settings, volume adjustment, defrost, seat heating, all of it within immediate finger reach. Zero screen staring required. You learn the layout once, then your hands just know where everything is. Muscle memory takes over. What makes this brilliant instead of regressive is that Tesla didn't abandon the screen entirely. The center display remains for genuinely complex functions like navigation, energy consumption tracking, and deep system settings. But now it's organized into just four intuitive zones. Drive, comfort, 
energy, and settings. No more archaeological expeditions through eight nested sub-menus just to find the rear camera grid settings. The question is, who is this really designed for? The answer reveals Tesla's entire strategy shift. This is for the 45-year-old buyer they've been hemorrhaging to Hyundai and Honda for the past three years. Someone who doesn't want their car to feel like a homework assignment. Someone who test drives a Model 3, gets overwhelmed by hunting for basic controls, and walks straight into a dealership where the volume knob is exactly where it's been for 30 years. This isn't Tesla dumbing down their product. This is Tesla finally understanding that intuitive doesn't mean all digital. It means your hand finds what it needs without your brain having to translate the action into touchscreen coordinates. That's real user experience design, not just aesthetic minimalism. Now, we get to the issue that's probably cost Tesla more potential customers than any other single factor. Picture this scenario, because it happens constantly. You're backing out of a grocery store parking spot. Some abandoned shopping cart rolls into your path, that sickening crunch sound. Your bumper's scraped. In a current Model 3 or Model Y, you're looking at $1,200 minimum for repair. The reason isn't the damage itself. It's because the bumper is manufactured as one massive integrated piece. To fix a corner scratch without visible repair lines, body shops have to sand and repaint the entire bumper section to avoid color mismatch. The part takes two weeks to arrive. Your insurance deductible gets demolished. You're driving a scratched Tesla for half a month while the service center orders components. The Model 2 completely rewrites this equation. The bumpers aren't single pieces anymore. They're modular sections. Front fascia, rear panel, side skirts, door corner trims, each one held in place by standardized clips and screws that any competent mobile tech can remove. A damaged section gets swapped in your driveway in about 20 minutes. The replacement part costs two to $400 and arrives pre-painted to match your vehicle. The materials engineering here is just as clever as the design. These modules use advanced engineering plastics and composite materials that cost 20 to 40% less than stamped metal panels. But the surface finish is identical to traditional automotive paint. Because Tesla's sharing these components across multiple model lines, they're manufacturing fewer unique parts at much higher volume, driving unit costs down even further through basic economies of scale. Think about the accumulated impact over a vehicle's lifetime. Two minor parking lot incidents over five years used to mean $2,500 in body work. With the Model 2's modular system, that same damage costs maybe $600 total. For middle-income families, budgeting every expense, that difference isn't trivial. That's the gap between affording to keep the car or trading it in early because maintenance costs are destroying your finances. This is the moment Tesla stops being exclusively for tech industry professionals who can absorb $2,000 annual repair budgets without flinching. Now it's accessible for nurses, teachers, delivery drivers, contractors, people who need transportation that doesn't financially punish them for the reality of daily driving. While modular bumpers get attention, there's a deeper revolution happening that most buyers will never consciously notice, which is precisely why it matters so much. Ask any mechanic what fails most frequently on modern vehicles. It's not the powertrain. It's not even the battery in electric cars. It's the auxiliary electrical components, power windows that intermittently stick, climate fans that develop annoying rattles, interior dome lights that flicker randomly like something from a horror film. Industry warranty data consistently shows that 30 to 40% of all claims stem from these auxiliary electrical systems. The root cause is brutally simple. Modern vehicles contain five to six kilometers of wiring threading through the chassis. 
hundreds of individual connectors. Each connection point represents a potential failure as vibration, temperature cycling, and moisture exposure degrade contacts over years of use. Tesla's next-generation low-voltage architecture for the Model 2 eliminates hundreds of meters of wiring complexity. Instead of individual wire runs to every single component, related systems are grouped by physical zones. Lighting circuits, window motors, seat adjustments. Each zone connects to a standardized control module using identical connector types and communication protocols. When something eventually fails, Technicians don't burn three hours tracing wire harnesses through door panels and under carpeting. They diagnostically check a handful of zone modules, identify the faulty unit, swap it out, and the repair is complete. More importantly for long-term reliability, the control software intentionally limits every component to 70 or 80% of its absolute maximum capacity during normal operation seat motors, window regulators, fan assemblies, all running with built-in safety margins that dramatically extend operational lifespan. Here's what this means in practical terms. After 10 years of ownership, when your neighbor's Honda needs its fourth window regulator replacement, your Model 2 is still operating on original components. Fewer unexpected service appointments, fewer $150 diagnostic fees that find nothing conclusive. Dramatically less time sitting in waiting rooms, arguing with service advisors about what's covered under warranty. For people juggling careers and family responsibilities, this represents hidden value that never appears in any marketing brochure. A vehicle that simply functions reliably without constant maintenance intervention that's not exciting to talk about, but it's absolutely essential for real-world ownership satisfaction. There's an uncomfortable economic truth underlying all of these changes, and it's why legacy automakers are far more worried than they're publicly admitting. Traditional car companies have built their entire profit architecture around complexity. Franchised dealerships generate substantially more revenue from service departments than vehicle sales, that $1,500 bumper repair. The dealership captures margin at every step. Those proprietary wiring systems requiring certified technician diagnosis? Pure profit gold that keeps customers returning to authorized service centers. If Tesla successfully proves you can manufacture an electric vehicle that's genuinely inexpensive to own over its lifetime, not just cheap to purchase initially, it exposes fundamental flaws in the traditional automotive business model. Customers will inevitably start asking difficult questions. Why does repairing my Ford's bumper cost $2,000 when Tesla's modular system costs $300? Why am I paying premium diagnostic fees for electrical problems that Tesla's simplified architecture prevents entirely? The modular body design, streamlined electrical systems, cross-model parts sharing, every decision focuses on reducing total cost of ownership rather than just lowering the sticker price. Once buyers truly understand that mathematical difference, there's no reversing their expectations. The entire industry will face pressure to adopt similar approaches or risk losing customers who've experienced what affordable EV ownership actually means. So why is Tesla doing this now? Why would a company that successfully sold $100,000 performance sedans to Silicon Valley suddenly obsess over modular bumpers and physical climate controls? The answer is simple. They've saturated the early adopter market. Tech enthusiasts who will pay premium prices for cutting-edge features regardless of practicality. That customer base is effectively tapped out. To achieve Elon Musk's stated goal of producing 20 million vehicles annually, Tesla needs to capture the mainstream buyer, the person who's driven Toyota Camrys for 20 years, the Honda Civic loyalist who keeps vehicles for 15 years and tracks every maintenance dollar. 
The Model 2 represents far more than just a cheaper Tesla. It's the company's acknowledgement that winning the next decade requires a fundamental identity shift. They can't remain primarily a technology company that happens to manufacture cars. They need to become a genuine automotive manufacturer that leverages technology for practical advantage rather than showroom spectacle. Will this strategy actually succeed? That remains unknown until real owners accumulate 100,000-mile service records. But if Tesla executes this vision successfully, if the Model 2 truly delivers on the long-promised premise that electric vehicles save money over their lifetime, it won't just disrupt the current market dynamics. It will force every automaker to completely rethink how vehicles are designed, manufactured, and serviced. Here's what it all comes down to. Tesla isn't just making a cheaper car. They're answering the question we posed at the start. Can an EV finally be easy to own, not just cool to drive? The Model 2 proves it's possible, and that reality terrifies the competition. This is exactly why legacy automakers have gone silent. They've spent decades profiting from complexity and expensive repairs. Tesla just demonstrated you can engineer radical simplicity without sacrificing innovation. Those modular bumpers that cost $300 instead of $1,500? The electrical system designed not to fail? The physical controls your parents can actually use? These aren't budget compromises. They're the features that transform skeptical shoppers into loyal owners. The bigger implication here extends far beyond one model. If Tesla successfully cracks mass-market EV ownership with the Model 2, we're witnessing the blueprint that reshapes the entire automotive industry. Every manufacturer will face mounting pressure to match this total cost of ownership equation or justify why their vehicles cost thousands more to maintain over a decade. What happens next? The Model 2 reaches customers in 2026. Real owners will accumulate serious mileage. We'll discover whether these engineering promises survive years of harsh daily use. If they do, this moment marks more than Tesla's boldest move. It's when electric vehicles stop being premium products and become the logical choice for mainstream America. So here's my question for you. What fails first? Tesla's ambitious vision or the traditional automaker business model built on service department profits? Drop your honest prediction in the comments below because I'm genuinely curious where you think this heads. This is tech revolution and we break down the innovations actually changing how we live and move. If you found this analysis valuable, hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution so you catch our next deep dive. Turn on notifications because when major developments drop, you'll want to know immediately. The affordable EV revolution isn't approaching anymore. It just landed. And the industry will never be the same.